Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of Konex and that is from the concept of hyperbola. And the question says that a hyperbola passes through the foci of a equation of ellipse whose equation is given to us as x square over 25, y square over 16 equals one. So a hyperbola passes through the foci of the ellipse and it's also saying us that the transverse and the conjugate axis of the hyperbola coincides with major and minor axis of the ellipse respectively. If the product of their eccentricities is one, so let's say eccentricity of ellipse and eccentricity of hyperbola, the product of them, it's given to us as one. We have to find the equation of the hyperbola here in this question. So we have to find that and the answer choices, if I talk about them, the first answer choice given to us, it says x squared over nine minus y squared over four equals one. The second answer choice, it tells us x squared over nine minus y squared over 16 equals one. The third answer choice given to us is x squared over nine minus y squared over 25 equals one. And the last answer choice, if I talk about it says, x squared minus y squared is equal to nine. So these are the four answer choices. We need to figure out which one of them matches with the equation of hyperbola, which is asked to us. So if I talk about the answer here, first of all, we have been given the equation of ellipse and that is given to us as x squared over 25 plus y squared over 16 equals one. Now, if I compare this with my general form of the ellipse equation, which is x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals one. So if I compare them, I get a squared turning out to become 25, b squared turning out to become 16. Once I have a squared and b squared with me, that is 25 and 16, I get the eccentricity of the ellipse that is e1 and that is given to me as root of 1 minus b square over e square and that if i solve further i get 1 minus b square is 16 a square is 25 if i solve it further i get 25 minus 16 over 25 so that basically gives us root of 9 over 25 and root of 9 over 25 is nothing but 3 over 5 so you get the eccentricity of the ellipse for the equation given and that turns out to become three over five. Now, once I have my equation of the ellipse here with me, I can find the foci points of the ellipse. So the foci points of the ellipse are plus or minus a e comma zero. Now, once you have that plus or minus a e comma zero means plus or minus a. In this case, if I compare a is five because a square is 25. So five into the eccentricity of the ellipse that is three over five comma zero. So you get this and this canceled out. You are getting the answer as plus or minus three comma zero. Once you have the foci points with you that is plus or minus three comma zero. Now further, if I try to find out the equation of the hyperbola, which is asked to me here, the equation of the hyperbola that is given to me is x square over a square minus y square over b square equals one. So that is the equation of the hyperbola given to me. Now, once I have this, I have also been told that your hyperbola passes through the foci points of the ellipse. So basically this values or this coordinates of the foci will satisfy the equation of hyperbola. So if I put that values of x as plus or minus three here and y as zero here, it is going to satisfy your equation of parabola. So if I substitute x as plus or minus three, the square of that would make it positive only and y as zero, 
I get my equation turning out to become x square that is 9 a square minus this becomes 0 over b square which is 0 equals 1. So 9 equals a square and from here I get a square as 9. So I have a square with me that makes it a as plus or minus nine, plus or minus 3 but we don't need a we just need a square. I have got that. So a square is 9. And if you see that actually matches with all the answer choices here, because here also, if I divide throughout by nine, I have X square by nine and Y square by nine equals one. So till now I am not able to eliminate any of the answer choices with that. Let's also use the another idea that was given to us that the product of the eccentricities of the two of them is one. So if I use that eccentricity of ellipse, into eccentricity of hyperbola it's equal to one so from here i get eccentricity of hyperbola as one over eccentricity of ellipse and that gives me one over eccentricity of ellipse is three over five so one over three over five and that gives you five over three so that gives you the eccentricity of hyperbola that matches with five over three now once you have that as well you just use the idea of the formula of hyperbola and that is eccentricity of hyperbola is 1 plus b square over a square so that makes it basically root of that so root of 1 plus b square over a square i know already the eccentricity of hyperbola that is 5 over 3 if i square both the sides i get that as 1 plus b square over a square a square we know already in this case it is 9 so 1 plus b square over 9 from here I get 25 over 9 is 9 plus b square over 9 so from here I cancel this 9 and I get b square as 25 minus 9 which is 16 if I put that in my equation of hyperbola I get that as x square over a square which is 25, no, a square, which was 9, minus y square over b square, which is 16, that is equal to 1. Now, once I have this equation of hyperbola and that was asked to me, that matches with option b. So, b becomes the correct answer for the question given to us, that is x square over 9 minus y square over 16 equals 1. I hope you have understood how to solve the type of questions. So what we did was, first of all, with the equation of ellipse, we found out a square, b square. And once I got that, I found the eccentricity of the ellipse. I got that as 3 over 5. Once I got that, I found my foci points of the ellipse. And that also are the points lying on the parabola. So it is satisfying the equation of hyperbola as well. So I just put my values of x and y as 3 comma 0 here. From here, I got a square as 9. I used the other idea, the product of the eccentricities is 1. So from there, I got eccentricity of hyperbola as 5 over 3. And that, when I equated with my original formula for hyperbola to find the eccentricity, I got b square from there, and that turns out to become 16. And that gives you equation of hyperbola, which matches with option b. So b becomes the correct answer for the question. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.